Hey girl, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. It's been a minute, so happy new year. I know I have been uploading so many shorts and I noticed that you guys love the shorts, so I'm gonna keep it up, but happy new year. I haven't told you guys Beverly. This is going to be my take on the clean makeup look or clean girl makeup look that I've seen trending on TikTok and now on YouTube. So it's basically a top notch or rebranding the on no makeup makeup look so i loved every video i've seen but i want to do a twist and want to do it my way want to add a little bit of shadow because it's basically just like um mascara and that's it so this is my take i love it and i hope you guys love it too i'm using so many affordable drugstore products you guys and this is going to be a little chit chat with you guys because I have some updates that I want to let you guys know on my life, so I can't wait for you guys to watch this video. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel. And let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is start off with your face cream, any moisturizer, your SPF. Um, I'm going to begin with this Ultra Facial Cream by Kiehl's and girl, I have been trying this one out. And it's really, really hydrating to the face and also like it's cooling, so. So for this clean makeup look, the clean girl, you know, it's the new no makeup makeup look. But everyone has their own twists. Like I personally want to add today a little bit of just eyeshadow to make my eyes stand out and some lashes. So obviously I've seen a bunch of videos that is just like mascara or fake lashes and that's it in the eyeliner just to keep it keep it clean and minimal so it's up to you did a little thing move <laughs> did you guys see him he was like right there Louie. i think i told you guys i don't know it's been years that i haven't uploaded here on youtube but i got a new dog i'm gonna put a picture of him right here he is so freaking cute i don't know what he is yet i know lily my husband said that she's um yorkie mixed with something but um, Louis looks like a multi poodle. He is so freaking cute, and hopefully today we take him to the vet because they need their shots. So okay, enough talking, you guys. For the foundation, you guys, I am going to try to keep this as affordable as I can. A drugstore, you guys know me. I always try my best. There's something on the camera. That I'm I always try my best to keep this to keep my looks really affordable. So I am going to be using my favorite, the Photo Focus Foundation by Wet n Wild, and I am in color right now. Uh, soft beige so that is my color for winter I'm guessing <laughs> my makeup skills have gone out the window can you guys see right here like I'm, I've been breaking out and obviously it's because I've been stressing the F out so I'm guessing it's because of that but yeah um another thing that I haven't told you guys guess what your girl is doing she is learning how to drive like Big time because I bought me some some um, driving lessons so in driving school on the 8th I have my second class but I already had my first class and the both people that were there one was like being the shadow one was the instructor they were saying that I was a pro I was like maybe I am <laughs> just kidding I was like you know maybe I do know how to drive and it's just because my main thing that stops me from driving is just being scared that I'm gonna hit someone or someone's gonna hit me and if I'm if I'm thinking like that then I'm never going to get anywhere so this time I just been like this year I'm like you know what I'm gonna start driving F it like I need to go get my kids from school I need to go drop them off I'm tired of taking Ubers I'm tired of spending so much money on Ubers to go get my kids or to go to um, freelance whenever I do <sighs> not freelance like makeup wise I'll let you guys know about that like what I do in another video but girl I've been I have had some cra oh my god I am breaking out I have had some crazy I never break out you guys know this so I am definitely big time stressing um, I have had some crazy uber drivers lord jesus there was one that recently that we had when i went to go get my kid like this freaking ass driver was just like turning back and talking to my son like, he kept talking to him and i kept like looking at the at the uh, street you know but he was just like turning around and just looking at him I'm like but yeah he kept like looking he kept like looking back and i was like oh hell no i was like i cannot be putting my kids in this situation we're just gonna blend all that nicely 
your girl has been learning how to drive and I will be getting my oh let me show you guys let me show you guys my um uh, permit this is my permit you guys so I'm not lying my next one is my driver's license so I feel like I'm gonna get my driver's license maybe a little bit after Valentine's because I haven't scheduled my well they haven't scheduled my third lesson is usually three classes for this driving class and they help you get your license so I'm guessing around the 21st I'm gonna be using this concealer by Revlon the color stay skin awakening which it has caffeine and vitamin and the caffeine will help to like depuff the area that um under our eyes so I they're new and I have been loving them so So you're just gonna take your time and blend that. I love using this brush by Fifth Glow Beauty, and it's like a dual side brush. So this side, I love to use it like around my eye area, and just this side just to blend everything. It works really, really good, and I think I have a discount code with them. I will link you guys on the description bar. As you guys can see that I'm also blending it everything so it can look nice and seamless and really natural with my foundation brush. So for contouring, I'm also going to be using the Red Blonde, the 5-in-1 concealer, and this one is in 075. I just love the way that it looks. It reminds me so much of the Born This Way Multi, what is this, Multi Sculpting Concealer in Toffee. I see so many people use this when they contour and it looks so beautiful, and it does. It works really good. It just makes me look nice and bronzy. So I'm gonna be using the 075. And then I'm going to blend that with a brush from Amazon. So I'm just going to blend that upwards to the hairline and then upwards when it comes to contouring. And then I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush with nothing on there and just blend everything. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals in Banana. I don't like the shiny face. I love a matte face. I don't even put highlight no more. I swear I don't. Okay, so another of my holy grails that I need to get a new one. Next time I go to Walmart, whatever, I need to get a new one. But look at this. <laughs> look at it, girl. It's the Wet n Wild uh, Contouring Palette in what is it? Caramel Toffee. I love, love this shade. I need to find out. I need to message them if they just make just separate one like this. Because I, I use this one the most. And I love to go in with my um, Royal Elenico Highlight and Glow Brush, which it looks like this. Grab that yellow. And then just apply it. And it just brightens that part out. So I just apply this right here. And it just helps to brighten up that area. I can grab a little bit more and just apply it like right there if you guys can see that. Just leave it there for a couple minutes so I can brighten up that area. Girl, for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using one of my favorite eyeshadow affordable palettes that you can create date looks, night looks. And it's the one from Revlon as well. And it is the Maverick. Maverick? I love this palette. It's just really beautiful shades like look at that I already hit pan on this one because I love it so much so I'm gonna be um, applying a little bit of the maroon looking one so before I apply my false lashes I'm going to just use this all my um, black eyeliner on the top of my waterline so you can't see that you know ugly empty space When you apply the lashes, you want to make sure that you apply them really close to your lash line. So that's why I love using tweezers and just really, really close to your lash line. Or you can apply them on the bottom of your lash line, which that is just really hard. I think I have a video for that, but that is super hard and more on the dangerous side. So just do your best to apply them close to your top lash line. For blush, I have been loving this blush by Milani and this one is an uh, American Beauty Rose. It's just really beautiful, so I'm gonna apply a little bit. For my lipstick, I'm going to be using one of my favorite new lipsticks by Revlon. I mean, 
there's so many Revlon products in here and this one is called Untold Stories. It is just really beautiful. So I'm gonna apply it. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that. I'm gonna be applying the Stay Matte Fix and Go by Rimmel London. Careful with the brush because then it spits at you. Getting my brush. I'm gonna wet this one because it's a little bit dry. And just stippling all over this would just create that flawless effect like it's coming from within the skin so here's the final look i hope you guys love it super easy to create and also affordable your everyday makeup look so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and stay tuned for more shorts.